Hello friends, Srinivas here. Today we'll see Dunning configuration setup. So what is Dunning configuration setup in a collection model? We'll understand that. Let us navigate to setup and maintenance. Okay. Setup and maintenance select financial and under financial select the collections. So collection means it's the advanced collection where uh, it's a model where all the activities you have to do to collect money from the customer a delinquent customer. <coughs> so in this case, manage Dunning configuration. Okay, search with this uh, tax. Manage Dun Dunning configuration. So here you can see there are two kind of Dunning. When you are going to set up a uh, Dunning and uh, you can uh, set up two. There are two options where I will provide. Either you can select aged Dunning or staged Dunning. So, what is Dunning? Dunning means when you are sending the payment letters to customers. Customer is not paying and uh, the amount is overdue. So, as a regular uh, activity or collection activity, what you can do? You can send a letter or payment reminder later to customer and that is called Dunning later. <clears throat> so in case of age Dunning, first you have to create one aging bucket so that you can categorize the delinquent customer based on their uh, number of days they are outstanding, like this invoice are outstanding. Okay, so it can be four bucket aging or seven bucket aging and based on that you are going to send the letters and letters it can be vary based on the number of days the customer invoice is outstanding. For example, age yes, dunning means stage dunning. What is stage dunning? Stage dunning it does not depend on any aging bucket, but the number of days it is outstanding based on a stage. Suppose you are sending a customer for 15 days late, then after that again you have to calculate. Uh, after how, how many days again the second letter you have to send. For example, if you see here, is Dunning. Is Dunning and uh, here you are selecting one aging bucket, delinquent, see bucket number five. Okay, so in this case you will see five lines and 1 to 30 days sub dunning template, 31 to 60 days moderate dunning template, 61 to 90 days hard dunning template and 90 plus its final demand dunning template. Okay, so this uh, dunning template is nothing but BI publisher templates which you can develop as per your business requirement. So these are already shaded templates available but you can uh, customize your uh, BI template and attach here uh, based on the requirement. Similarly, stage running. If you open the stage running, you can see there is no aging bucket attached. Okay. It's completely based on uh, the wait days, like how many days uh, the like the customer outstanding is there an in, uh, invoice is pending payment right based on that you can send uh, dunning letters or assign dunning letters right so for example i am going to create one uh, aged dunning letter click on add <coughs> type so you have to select here what kind of uh, dunning letter you are going to set Test customer dunning. Okay. This is for 
delinquent customer delinquent customer means like overdue customers like for which uh, payment is pending uh, over and above the payment term date right so if, if it is within due days its customer fail to pay then it's converted to delinquent customer so dunning configuration set usually you can select here the reference data set okay <coughs> I'll send the command set here. It's a reference data set. Aging bucket. I will uh, select the four bucket aging so that I am going to send four letters based on uh, <coughs> each of the bucket. Include current invoices, right? Yes, current invoices like which are uh, outstanding it should be included in the dunning letters include disputed invoice no i don't want to include any dispute invoice because customer has raised dispute that uh, i am not going to pay this amount if you resolve the dispute there is some pricing dispute or amount dispute quantity dispute and first you have to resolve this that's why i'm not going to include this in the reminder letter or dunning letter include credit memo no I don't want to include uh, credit memo here in this letter. <coughs> so only the current outstanding invoice I'm going to include in the dunning letter. Because credit memo that you can handle through credit memo workflow separately. Okay. And uh, dunning configuration details. If you click and add, So based on your uh, aging method, you will get your aging bucket. The current is sub dunning later. That means it's not yet overdue. So just a normal reminder later you are going to send. <coughs> if, if the invoice is 1 to 30 days outstanding, then I will send a moderate dunning later. Right? And then if the customer invoice is outstanding more than 30 days, I mean 31 to 60 days bucket, I'll send a hard dunning letter. Hard dunning letter means I will like ultimatum kind of uh, things that if you are not going to send the payment, then I will take legal action. Okay. Kind of things you can uh, mention in the dunning letter. You can give a warning, right? And the final is uh, more than 60 days, right? 60 plus. And here, final demand dunning letter. In this final case, it the, you are going to take action. If uh, the customer is not responding to this final demand dunning template or dunning letter, <coughs> you are going to take legal action and whatever. Uh, as per the law, you can go to take action against that customer. Okay. So these letter names, these are nothing but VI templates developed either customer seeded you can use. And uh, mostly it is the customized letter uh, because the contents logo and uh, to include the invoices and the design layout, everything you can customize uh, with this uh, letters, dunning letters through VI publisher templates. So once you create, define your dunning configuration, save it. And save and close. So now we have defined our dunning configuration. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. So please subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates and latest videos. Thank you.